What is it, Law? Uh, I just got a kind of strange feeling. Everything looks okay to me. Was it just my imagination? something moving. What is it? Zoogles? Couldn't it be just a mouse or something? I don't think so, but I'm not sure what it is. Let's flush it out by force! Wait! <laughs> Nazamil? You followed us? Did something happen in the city? No. I just didn't want to be left there. Are you saying you'd rather live on your own outdoors than in a city? It's not that. I just... You want to come with us, don't you? Yes. All right. <laughs> Are you sure about this? After all, it's not like we'll never see each other again. And it's so much safer in Vicent. That's true, but... We all know the pain of being alone, don't we? Well, yeah, but... She does have the ability to disappear at will. If something happens, she can use that to hide herself. Can you promise you'll do that, Nazamil? Yes, I promise. Then it's decided. Haven't been to the ranch in a while. Wonder if they're all doing okay. So... You like animals? Like isn't the right word. They're his best friends. They are not! Ain't seen you around here in a spell. Especially you, boy. Why don't you come around more often? Cause I'm busy, okay? But we're here for a reason. We heard a Zoogle has been attacking your livestock. Oh, so you're taking over for the Service Corps, then? Why didn't you say so? Hmm? I can't say I recognize you, young lady. You look pretty young for a Service Corps member. That's because she's not in the Service Corps. She's our new friend. Your animals were attacked? Yes, that's right. They may just be animals, but they're my animals, and I take good care of them. But that darn Zugo won't leave the poor things be. <sighs> and just what kind of Zugo is it? No clue. You don't know? I know it's a Zugul because of the tracks. But even though it got a handful of my animals, I ain't actually seen it yet. I even come a-running as soon as I hear a commotion, but still ain't laid eyes on the beastie. It don't make a lick of sense. Never would have guessed the old guy just throw himself into danger like that. It keeps coming back. So I figure, it must live somewhere nearby here. Okay. We'll check around the roads. Do you like animals too, Nazamil? Yeah. Animals don't say mean things, or throw rocks like people do. Ugh. <sighs> Are you okay, Nazamil? I'm alright. I just tripped, that's all. It only takes one untimely stumble to sprain an ankle. Keep your wits about you. Right. Are you hungry? It's easy to get a bit woozy on an empty stomach. True. It might be a good idea to take a short break. Poodle says, make sure you take care of yourself. 
See? He's looking out for you, too. Right. I will. Thank you. Nazamil has really opened up to us, hasn't she? I think they might be doting on her a bit much, though. It's an expression of their concern. As long as she doesn't mind and it doesn't impede her independence, I see no issue with it. If they pamper her too much, she's gonna end up like a certain someone we know, and won't even be able to change her own clothes. Ah, not to worry, Law. I have found that it is never too late to learn such things. I'm not sure that's a good argument. Let me know if you find any trampled grass or scraps of half-eaten food. What about this? Doesn't match up with the prince at the ranch. Must be a different Zulu. It's the wrong shape. Not fresh either. Huh. They all look the same to me. What about this one? Or maybe not. No, wait. These match the ones at the ranch. So that means... Yep, we're close. seem to find it anywhere should be right around here where'd it go Do it! 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 Do it!
Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Cypher! Good job, Kisara! Thanks! Same to you, Alvin. This one keeps charging us! That's what my shield is for! Get behind me! Got it! We'll leave it to you! You picked the wrong fight! Make it way! Swallow Dan! This was on the ground. Search this much, and there's still no trace. Hmm. They must be pretty big. They shouldn't be able to hide so well. It's almost as though. I've got it. Huh? Nasamil? Wait, what are you doing? Wait here. From Nasamil, an invisible Zugal? This must be the culprit. Let's do this. How dare they attack the ranch? It feels like this is personal for you. I won't let them get away with it either. Stay back, Nasamil. I swear to you, I'm going to hate you. Crush it all the way. Try to accomplish this. This is what you get for messing with the ranch! You mean saying yes? I mean, technically yes, but... But no! Besides that... Greater fear... I'll tear you apart! Make sure you let the things come to an end! Eat this! Eat this! Let's tear them up! can turn invisible. That explains why no one had seen it. Azamil, I'm impressed you figured that out. I just thought about what everyone was saying, and had a hunch. It must have figured it was safe when hidden. It didn't expect an invisible opponent. Should I not have done that? To be honest, I'd prefer you didn't take such big risks. 
However, if you hadn't done that, that Zugul could have taken us out before we even knew what was happening. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, gang. Let's let Bogdale know his Zugul problem is taken care of. <laughs> well, Nazamil, you seem to be in a good mood. It feels good to be thanked by someone, doesn't it? Yeah. That was quite the little adventure we went on. Wait, someone's fallen over there. Bogdell? Bogdell! Hey, Bogdell! Is... is that you, boy? What happened? Right after you left, that Zugo came. I thought I had him. But he got the drop on old Bogdale. These wounds are bad. He needs healing right away, or- That man... Is he a friend of yours? A friend? Well, at the very least, he's always been good to me. Understood. Nazamil? <laughs> Jeez. Bogdale? What happened? I thought I was a goner. Those wounds were mortal, but they healed in an instant. Incredible. Was I of use? Absolutely. Look. Are you the one who saved me? Yes. You don't say. I owe you my life, young lady. Thank you so much. You've got my thanks, too. You really are amazing, Nazamil. See? There are people out there who appreciate you. And there always will be. <sighs> anyway, now that we've completed the job, we should go back to the city and tell Lagil. To think it would attack while we were out searching for it. Yeah. I thought he was a goner for a minute. Thank goodness we had Nazamil with us. Hey, I was just thinking, when we get back to Vicent, let's celebrate. Celebrate? Celebrate what? Are you really that dense? Nazamil's performance, obviously. We should. It was our first request completed together. Besides, she deserves most of the credit. In that case, there's a place I've been wanting to check out for a while now. Let's go there. <laughs> what is it, Nazamil? No need to hold back. I'm not holding anything back. It's just that it's hard to relax when I'm surrounded by strangers. Then why don't we camp like we used to? 
Oh yeah, that'd be nice. We could build a fire, cook food together, and really have some fun. Yeah, I'd like that. Let's have fun tonight! Yeah. What should we make then? We're doing this for Nazamil, so let's skip the fancy delicacies. Now, as for the seating arrangement... There. That ought to do it. How's it going on your end? All the ingredient preparation is out of the way. I'm ready to start cooking. Can I help with anything? Maybe I could be in charge of the seasoning. No way. We don't want to risk putting people's tongues or stomachs in danger today. Oh, uh, right. What is it, Nasimil? <laughs> oh, uh... I gathered branches for the fire. Does this look like it will be enough? Yeah, that should do it. Thanks for the help. You are the guest of honor today, so you really didn't have to do anything. Yeah, but I'd rather be together with everyone. Oh, Nazamil's here too. Welcome back. Huh? What's the matter? Did I say something weird? What do you mean, welcome back? Huh? Well, you're finally back, aren't you? It's just that... No one's ever said that to me. I mean, not until now. So I don't know what I'm supposed to... It's good to be back. Huh? When you hear welcome back, you can say that in response. Um... People say welcome back to their friends or family when they return to a place that's like home. A place... that's like home. But... But I... This place is sort of like a home, too. Good... to be... Mm -hmm. It's good to be back. There you go. Welcome back, Nazamil. Welcome back. Well then, let's get the preparations done before it gets dark. Mind lending me a hand, Nazamil? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Let's make this night one to remember. You can leave that to me. <laughs> I hope we can travel together forever. Forever would be impossible. Why is that? Travel has a purpose and a goal. Once the objective is reached, the trip is over. Yeah, I guess you're right. But some things do last forever, like friendship. The bonds we form will always be there. I hope so. Hey, is it just me, or are Hoodle and Nazamil really getting along? Yeah, I think Hoodle's really taken a shine to her. Huh, that fluffball's usually so picky. You don't get along with him? Law's just jealous because unlike you, he can't get Hoodle to like him. Uh, are you kidding me? This ornery little owl likes to peck at my head! You hear that? At my head! Well, Dan and owls are a sensitive species. They're not too keen on the rowdy sort. <laughs> See? Hoodle says you're just not cutting it. Come on! What do you want from me? Don't take it too hard, Law. Every other animal loves you, right? Oh yeah, cause that's a huge consolation. I think it's good that you're appreciated. It's a lot better than being hated. What kind of pets do you like, Nasimil? Well, there were no animals on Lenigus, and I wasn't in a position to keep a pet on Dana. Oh, that makes sense. You never know. You might just have the chance someday, though. You think so? Definitely. You've clearly got away with animals, Nasimil. <laughs> he said, there's no doubt about it. Thanks.
haven't slept that well in a long time. We need to let Lagiel know about this. Yeah, you might be right. Maybe we could have handled that better. She may be a little concerned, but I don't think it's anything to worry yourself over. That's true. We've known each other a long time, after all. You've changed. Who? Me? Yes. You've loosened up. I agree. You seem to be having fun. To be honest, I don't really know what it's like to have fun. But unlike before, my heart feels lighter. It's a little strange, but it's not a bad feeling. I'd never wanted to use my power to help anyone before. Nor had I ever been praised for it. And I never imagined I'd ever travel with someone. With friends. I'm sure there are a lot more travels in your future. In my future? Do you have some kind of dream? Something you want to do? I'm not sure. I've never thought about the future before. You don't have to force yourself. Say, what about a hobby or something? What do you like to do? Oh. I... Like to draw. To draw? Just scribbling things I see or feel. O only sometimes, though. Interesting. So you're an artist? Sure, that got your attention. But you draw the things that leave an impression on you, right? I think it's a lovely hobby. If you don't mind, show me your drawing sometime? Yeah. I'd like that. Ugh. We finally made it. Dohalim! Oh, thank goodness. What's wrong? We took care of the Zoogle that was attacking the ranch. You did? That's great news. However, something more urgent has come up now. After you left, we received a report from the Darkwings. The Darkwings? From Niez? The city's Danans and Renans are provoking each other, and the Darkwings say they can't control the situation for much longer. So they say... I know, I know. You want us to return, right? It sounds like the situation must have worsened if they sent such an urgent backup request. Undoubtedly. And we just came from Niaz. Are you still coming with us? <laughs> I want to be with you all. And also, I... I want to be of use. You've definitely proven you can take care of yourself just fine. It's settled then. Back to Niaz. What are those guys in Niez trying to start? Even if they don't have weapons, Renans have astral arts. Yes, but what about the Danans? Don't tell me they plan to use bombs again. I'm sure not everyone wants to fight. We have to find a way to stop this. 